Hi everybody, good evening. It's Tuesday and once a month we conduct a live health talk here at Strong on Health. And I know a lot of you would really like us to be able to uh, broadcast this on Facebook so you could watch it at home. But unfortunately, when we get that many people in here, it's it a little tough for the sound. So I do want to give you a couple of bullet points and remind you all that we do it at 7 o'clock on Tuesday night once a month. And uh, you are more than welcome to come. It's free to the public. We usually have fun little things to give away. For those of you who cannot make it live, unless you really want to know this information, I am going to put together a short video on it. However, we also want to remind you that we are happy to offer our services to come out and give this talk to groups in the community, to uh, groups at work and places that you feel this message would be really helpful and empowering and powerful. That's what we're here for is we want to make sure we can come out and offer this discussion topic as what we call our healthy happy hour. So uh, keep that in mind if you cannot make it tonight or if you really, really, really want to see this in person and want to have the ability to ask these questions live, then uh, we can do that for you. However, uh, tonight we're going to get started in just a minute, but what I wanted to start with by talking about um, on my flight back from North Carolina, uh, the nutrition research facility I was very very fortunate to be able to spend some time at over the weekend I was reading and preparing by um, for this talk this Alzheimer's solution book and what struck me is how many people were interested in what I was reading not just because of their concern over this disease but mostly because they're concerned uh, for their loved ones and and frightened quite honestly for them to develop or themselves to develop and the takeaway that I really want everyone to know after reading this is these two doctors, uh, Dean and Aisha Shirzai, um, MDs, have uh, declared very boldly that 90%, 90% of you can avoid ever getting this disease if you take action, if there are things that you can do. And they have a whole program that we're gonna be talking about that you can do that's gonna affect nutrition, exercise and different ways to optimize your brain but it is something that I want people to understand that there are a lot of people who are in the realm of prevention who would agree with that number very strongly and that remaining 10% they'll even say you can still delay the onset by 10 to 15 years now I think there are people out there who would even say greater numbers than that but if you have any concern about it if you cannot make it tonight if you cannot have us come give this talk to you live the very first step I would suggest is picking up this book and reading it at least to encourage you, give you something on the right step. The takeaway from tonight is that it is a multi-faceted uh, condition. This isn't something that one little thing is causing it. There are many things causing it. And sometimes it'll overwhelm people say, well, what do I do? I find that as an opportunity. If there's many things causing it, there are many things we can do to help slow it down or reverse it. Okay, we're gonna get started pretty soon. Everybody's arriving, so uh, we'll see you guys in the next video on Thursday for Ask Me Anything. Thanks for watching, guys.